Here's my technique. This ought to do it. <laughs> Getting over it with Benny Foddy. That's a uh, oh, that's a great name. Um, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, oh wow! I can <laughs> really. These are my controls. Oh, oh, oh. Um, first off. How does a six-foot man fit in a cauldron? Is that a cauldron? I assume that's a cauldron. Um, he looks like he's at least six feet tall. Look how long his arms are. That is like a six-foot tall man. Um, second, why is he naked? And is he naked? Or does he just not like to wear a shirt when he's in his cauldron? I don't know. Third, is this like a... There's an nothing axe? more intense oh, than starting no. over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due... He's talking. Or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you yeah, want that's some money annoying. at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. Yeah, that's your annoying. your shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you want an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Yeah, that's annoying. Starting over <laughs> is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. He's... <laughs> what? So he's basically warning me that this game is going to be frustrating as hell. Um, and I shouldn't play it if I'm having a bad day and I'm already pissed off. Great! Sounds like a fun game. <laughs> As I was saying, not sure why I'm naked, not sure why I'm in a cauldron, not sure how I fit in the cauldron. Because I'm a good six feet tall, I would say. He is very fit, though, to be a man in a cauldron. I mean, I, I would expect you would be if this is your only means of being able to maneuver around uh, Earth. So I can see how he'd be pretty in shape. And he definitely looks like he's been doing this a while. Um, am I... What? <laughs> I'm spilling water. There's water in my cauldron. Why? <laughs> I'm so confused. So he just lives in this cauldron and apparently he can breathe underwater and he has a never ending supply of water in this that never runs out because it keeps spilling every time I move. Um, I'm so confused. And yet I bet if I go over here, uh, well, wait! <laughs> so I can't swim, but I live in a cauldron underwater. That makes a lot of sense. Ooh, look at that arm strength! No! <laughs> Do you see that arm strength? Hooah! Oh. I'm a buoy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so, alright, let's do this. I'm actually gonna start trying now. Oop. Yeah, these controls are awkward AF. Boing. So, is this like a... Is this an axe? Or... Oh my gosh. I got over. Woohoo! I got over it! Let's go! I'm, I'm, I'm already an expert. Boing. Um, there we go. Uh... Oh! Right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. Okay. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. I don't Just have to take any breaks. To stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Shut up. No, 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 no. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. Sexy Hiking. I need the to play that. The that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. Okay. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Okay. Okay. Here we go. No, no, this way. Mm. Oh, oh, wait. Here we go. Oh! Get up there, boy! 
Yeah! Get up there! Get up there! I'm getting o- No! <laughs> I was getting over it, but then I wasn't able to get over it any longer. Hey! Hold up. Okay! Here's my technique. This ought to do it. <laughs> okay, let me up. Stop. Oh! Okay, here we go. We're going up. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. No! I had it! Gosh! Let me up! No! Don't push away. Why does it look like there's like a prison over there or something? Or maybe that's like a watchtower? Kind of looks like a prison. Honestly, wouldn't surprise me if this dude's a convict. Maybe he just doesn't have legs. I mean, if I didn't have legs, I'd probably just use a cauldron too because then you don't gotta worry about like hurting your bo bottom half. As we see, it's an indestructible cauldron, so... Hold on! I'm stuck! It's like the harder I try to control it, the worse I make it. Okay? And then we just... No! <laughs> Come on! Hoo-ya! Yeah! No! Hoo-ya! Now we go like this. No! Yeah! 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 No! Okay. And we go up. We go up. Yeah! We go up. Yeah. No. No. No, don't well, push yourself. That's a lot of progress. Shut that's the hell up. Frustration. A real punch in the gut. It makes it 10 times worse when you say that. Would you just shut up? God, you just ruined my day. It wasn't even because of the game. It was because what you said. And heave. I like how he holds his. He's got really good form on his uh, hammer pickaxe. Um. He holds it like a lightsaber. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need to do that. And then we come down and we don't push off like an idiot. Whoop. No! <clears throat> Oof, sorry about that. Shut up. This makes it so much worse when he sits here and comments out with how bad I'm doing. I don't like this man. Okay, 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 careful. How about right here? And then we go boing. <gasps> oh, oh. No. Okay, okay. Careful. Stay there. St um, now I need to go. <sighs> no, 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 no. No, no, now we're backtracking. Then we go, boing. In a certain way, sexy hiking is the perfect embodiment of a Can big you game. shut up right now? It's I'm trying to concentrate. It's out of found and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too oh. sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly... Will you shut up? I'm trying to concentrate. And I'm getting really far. His talking and jazz music make it so much worse. I need that cup. No. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. What am I doing here? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I need to go a little bit here. And then come down gently. Gently. No. Oh, wait, okay, okay, down, this is so hard to control, down gently, now I don't boink my hammer into anything, we lift it up, no that'll push me off, I need to like, boing, <laughs> gosh, <laughs> okay hold on, um, about right there, and then we go slam. <gasps> oh, it happened again. Keep on trying, don't let it get to you. You shut up. You shut your whore mouth right now. Leroy Jenkins! Okay, let's bring it around. No, don't do anything weird. And now we're just gonna smoothly catapult myself up to the top. Uh, I'm sliding. That should not be happening. And then we go, ka-boing. 
Oh. And then we get back to where we were. Nice and gently use those use those forearms, those muscular forearms, and then Whoa, oh. no. This no. thing that we call failure no. is not the falling no. down. No. But the staying down. Mary Pickett. Please. I was so up there. Shut up, Mary Pickford. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Just. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Yeah. That ah, sh. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Now we're now we're cooking with peanut oil. Shh, I keep pushing off that. Damn it. Hey. No. <gasps> Why? Can you stop with the obnoxious music when I screw up? I would like to just play this in peace. Get nasty, boy. It's like this game is just designed to provoke you. He like warns you like this game's gonna piss you off. But then they play this obnoxious music the entire time. Just shut up. You're making this so much worse. Bring me down gently. Real gent like. Okay, someone turn off the music. This is so much more distracting. And then we go chip wing. Use those forearms. Down. Okay. Now we turn it just slow, ever so slightly, and shipoing! Don't push yourself off. We bring it over here, and then we go shipoing! And we set ourselves nice and gent like on this nice little wooden barrel, and we bring our hammer back around, and then we go shipoing! And then we use those triceps. Um, ooh. I don't like this. Here, let's bring this back around. Um, and then we go shaboing. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire Please rest shut of up. the game. Please shut up. I'm trying to concentrate. It might take you an hour to get over that tree. And a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once okay. you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Okay. Okay. If I'm messing you up, you can mute me in the settings. Gosh. Now you tell me? <laughs> I would have muted you a while ago. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to spring load ourselves like so. Boing! Fa, that did not work how I wanted it to. If you need to take a break, it's okay. I've saved your progress. Shut up. Hey, I knocked the cup over. Oh, oh no, no, my cafe latte. I really needed that, but I guess I can continue on without it. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna springboard ourselves up, pull myself up. You can do it. Come on. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. This is the furthest I've ever gotten. I feel so accomplished. I got the weird half-naked man in a cauldron halfway up the mountain. Ooh, there's a trash can up there. Is that what I've come up here to do, to just get the trash? Okay, let's slide ourselves down. Then we go shiboing. Mm. Oh, the obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, Ooh. and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But just I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. Okay. Just a funny stop thing happened talking. to me as I was building this mountain. Oh. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Okay. OK. 
Can I do this? Boing. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Hey. And go. And go. Oh my gosh. Okay, and springboard. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first time. Shut up. I don't need your help. Can I pull back? No, I'm gonna fall. No! <laughs> and... Spring-loaded! 